Oh, we got some geode cavities in there. Beautiful, beautiful lines. Oh my gosh. That is so sweet. I love that right there. And I bet you this looks a whole lot better polished up. Well, there we have our first of eight big ammonites cut and polished. And that is what we are gonna be doing in this video, cutting and polishing these beautiful ammonites from the Cretaceous period. This is part three of a big ammonite lapidary project I've been working on. Part one, I cut open two little ammonites from the Cretaceous period. Part two, three little ammonites from the Jurassic period. And now here we are with the finale, part three, big ammonites. And I can't wait to get to more cutting, so let's get to more cutting. All right, this is one of the smaller ones from the batch. I'm feeling the back a little bit to see if I can feel any geode pockets. I don't feel any. Let's just see it. Oh, there are some. That is so cool. That right there, that is from the saw blade. That is a bummer. That's going to take a little while to kind of grind out before the polish really begins, but we'll do it. We did it with the last one. Oh, look at that. That is so sweet. I was nervous with this one because the umbilicus goes in so far. Kind of does with a few of them, but we caught it perfectly. That is really, really cool. Looks just like the last one. I was looking over all of them and this one right here has the umbilicus right here, the center of the ammonite. It is the most closest together. We're likely to maybe miss it while we cut. The rest of them look pretty good. So I just want to get this one out of the way because that kind of stresses me out a little when I'm trying to cut it. Like, don't miss that. I want it to be perfect like the first two. So uh, anyway, let's see what's inside. Check this out, we did not cut through the umbilicus. We got a good cut. And here we go. Oh, that one's a little bit more defined. It's got some really, really beautiful details in there. Man, a lot of getting some really nasty saw blade marks in that. That is crazy. It's just on one side, I must be dragging a little bit. That one's on me. But besides the saw blade marks, I think this one's my favorite so far. I really love that more defined spiral in there. And I bet you that once polished, that's gonna look really, really cool.
let's see. <laughs> I think the common theme we have is one side has a lot of saw blade marks and then they look very similar. We do have geode pockets in here. They're really, really cool. I think that's pretty. And I really love how much better they look polished. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hope you like that too because it is a lot of work using the big old belts on the expandable drums but yeah they look so much better when they're all polished it's it's fun though I really really enjoy that part of it <laughs> Good. Didn't catch the center. Ready? Hey, that is sweet. Looks just like the other ones. A little bit different. A little lighter up in here. Really cool. In the umbilicus area. Little geode pocket right here. Not as many geodes as the other ones. Oh, there's a nice one right in there. That is sweet. That is cool, actually. So as you notice here, less saw blade marks is because I put a different blade on. So it was a blade. That was the problem. So, is what it is. I'll work it out. I'll pay for it in the polishing process. <laughs> but yeah, that is really cool. And that kind of leads me to kind of a thought that I'm having here where I'm making just a smidge of an audible with this project. So as we've been cutting open these ammonites, you've probably noticed that these ones in particular, compared to parts one and part two, they are very, very similar. Nothing wrong with that because when they're polished, they are truly so beautiful, but they're so similar to the point where I'm now thinking, we have three left. One of them has really beautiful like horns on it. And I just, I kind of want to keep it as is for myself, for my collection. That one in particular, I kind of want to just keep it and not cut it. Maybe down the road I'll cut it, but I'm not going to cut it today. I'm going to keep it. So we are now going to cut open two more instead of three more. I'm going to keep one. I'm going to put it on my shelf because it's beautiful. But we'll cut them and we'll polish them. And then when we're done, we're going to look at all of the ammonites from parts one, two, and three. And we're going to look at these under UV light because that's awesome. So yeah, we're almost done. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you hanging out with me, cutting these cool fossils that are super old and really neat. <laughs> Let's get back to cutting. And our second to last cut looks good let's see oh hey, hey that is really cool i love that kind of flaring feathering action we got going on in that this i know they all look pretty similar but this one's my favorite so far i really 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 like that oh boy there's so much like you can see this right here, the gunk from cutting. We got some really cool like calcite and almost like crystal points in there. Oh man, that is gnarly. Favorite one so far for sure. That is neat. Ah, oh, so cool. I still, it blows my mind how like crystals, calcite, oh well, gosh, there's a arganite or something like that is present in Ammonites as well. It just blows my mind how that is inside <laughs> fossils. It's just wild. So sweet. I hope you guys love it. It's so cool. Well, our final ammonite, I think, is our biggest ammonite. It definitely feels the heaviest. 
it's got a little bit more going on on the outside so yeah pretty excited hopefully it doesn't flake off or anything like that while we cut it but it's pretty cool it's got these suture lines in there i think that's really really neat all right folks wish me luck Oh, it went quick, you guys. It was a very quick cutting session. Oh, I feel a couple geode pockets on the other side. Let's see. Hey, we got some. And that's a really beautiful way to end the cutting session. Awesome, awesome chambers in here. We got the nice defined septa lines. Big old geo pocket. I'm excited to see this one polish as well <laughs> like all of them they're so beautiful aren't they that is so cool Well, now that you're done watching me cut and polish all those ammonites, I'm not done polishing them yet in real life. <laughs> Let's head over and see them under UV light and we'll check out the other ammonites from parts one and two. So polishing those big ammonites did take a little bit longer than expected, but I got them all done and they look phenomenal. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And this pretty much wraps up the three part series on cutting and polishing ammonites. Again, part one was cutting two ammonites from the Cretaceous period, part two, three ammonites from the Jurassic period, and this last part three, seven big ammonites from the Cretaceous period that were absolutely beautiful. They took a phenomenal polish. And all of these ammonites, I love them so much. I'm gonna keep a very small amount of them for myself for my display shelf, but the rest are gonna be listed. So check the description box below for where you can find those as well as parts one and two and all the equipment I used for this entire project. It was a blast. I, I absolutely love ammonites. I think they're just beautiful cut and polished. I, I've seen some pictures of the outside are all polished. I don't know how people do that, but they look phenomenal. I prefer cutting them in half and seeing the inside. I think it's just amazing getting to see what's been hidden in there forever. So it's fun sharing that with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you checked out parts one and two, thank you so much for all your support. I hope you liked the entire series. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time.